Hello everybody! So I have gotten all my stuff ready and today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my pollo la fricase. Chicken fricase? I don't know. So yeah, not everybody makes it the same. Again, you make it how you like. This is how I make it easily on the Instant Pot. These are the ingredients that you are going to need. So I have some pre-cut, just like always, onions and peppers, garlic, parsley, cumin, diced tomatoes, um, chicken flavor with tomato, oregano, bay leaf, pepper, garlic, onion powder, and I also have my avocado oil, white wine, cooking wine, Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire sauce, and salt. I'm going to use my eight quart instant pot because I have my six quart with some black beans and the first thing we're gonna do is add some oil and put it in saute so we can saute our chicken okay so I'm gonna add some oil to the bottom enough to coat it and we're gonna like sear our chicken on both sides so the chicken that I'm using I'm using is boneless skinless chicken thighs and it's a pound and a half of chicken and usually you do use it with bone but we don't really like bone in so I'm gonna do it with this and of course with the shortages that we've been having I just got whatever was available you can my mom makes it with a whole entire chicken cut into pieces everybody makes it differently so I'm gonna wait until the oil gets heats up a little bit and then I'm gonna put the chicken inside let it sear on one side turn it over let it sear on the other side and then I'll show you guys what else to do so here I have placed my chicken on the sauteing oil you can hear the little sizzling, so I'm going to wait a little while until it sears on the one side and I'll turn it over. Okay, so I think I figured it out. Now you guys can see top down how I'm making everything here. I had to stop it a while because I was trying to figure it out. I don't have a lot of counter space in my kitchen, so I, when I need to use my second um, Instant Pot, I have to use one of those little tables. Hopefully soon I can invest in an island or hopefully... God willing, I can redo my kitchen at some point. So right now, we are still sauteing the one side that I told you guys about. And with a fork, I'm going to check the color at the bottom, if it has a good sear on it. And it still needs a little bit more. You want it to get like a little bit brown. So as, as it goes thawing out, it goes like opening up. And I am a bone-in type of person, but neither my husband nor my kids like bone-in, usually. So, um, I'm going to make it like how they like it, so they can eat it. Otherwise, I would have to make a 500 different dinners. So, it's thawing out. It's opening up. You see, it has a little bit of crust already there, brownish. So, that's what we're looking for in the whole entire piece. It was still a little bit frozen. And what I'm doing is just opening it up, opening it, opening it up so I could get an even sear. And a pound and a half is enough for us. You might want to do more if you have more people. We are two adults and three children. And like I said, my mom, um, when she's gonna do it, she buys an entire chicken, cuts it up into pieces, and that's how she does it. So taking a little bit to sear because it has um, some liquid from the chicken, so it's gonna that's gonna have to evaporate. So then the oil can actually sear the chicken and we're gonna pause to do that. Okay, so it's been a little bit that it's been searing. Okay, so now we are gonna turn our chicken over. I'm tired of waiting. And we're gonna let it sear again. Look, this one is the best one so far. The most that the one has the most. And then we will move the chicken, make our sauce, add the chicken, cook the whole thing together, and voila, we have some chicken fricasse. Okay, so. Um, we have enough sear on both sides. I'm gonna remove the chicken now. Oh, it works this way. Okay. So that it will be the base for our sauce. Mm -hmm. All the little 
um, pieces that stay there, all the flavor. So that will be the base to our sauce. Let me remove the chicken now. we are going to do to this is we're going to add a little bit more oil because there's oil in there but there's also liquid from the chicken we are going to let's say i go to the salon okay? like all the little brown parts and i know this has a name the starter thing but i don't remember if anybody knows the name tag me and so this is what we're gonna add our stuff to make the sofrito. And I just realized my I have no garlic, no fresh garlic. So that soaps. So there's the cut onions and peppers. You can also do it fresh. I have I buy it already to cut in Walmart. And the smell is divine. Let me check again see if I have some garlic. Okay, so I did have some garlic. Um, only had some pieces, but that's fine. I know how it looks right now, but nothing is burnt. That's just the pieces of chicken that stuck to the bottom. That got a little brown, and that's fine. I wish you guys could smell how good it smells right now. I'm just going to let the garlic saute for a tiny bit. So I don't want it to get black or um, burnt. Y estos son los pedacitos de pollo que se quedan abajo, and that is gonna taste amazing. Of course, like if you leave the, the skin on your chicken, it usually has more flavor. But again, my kids don't really like it. So, I cook uh, my way for my family. Of course, everybody does their things differently, and that's totally okay. So, I have that, now I'm gonna put in the tomatoes. And just like the other day, this is what I'm using is 14.5 ounces of diced tomatoes no salt added from walmart walmart should sponsor me so we're going to drop that in there this whole time you are cooking this and saute on your instant pot and look how the bottom comes off like the brown from the bottom comes off that is all flavor okay that will all be flavored. Now, like you guys have seen me do before, I'm gonna add all my spices to the tomato. And last thing will be the chi um, the meat, in this case, the chicken, the wine, Worcester sauce, and if needs it, some water. I don't think it will need it, we'll see. So we are going to let that cook. I'm gonna add the spices. Cumin. Again, easy handed, but oh, let me turn off the fan. Duh. So easy handed on the cumin because I'm not a super big fan. Other people love it. Like I heard somebody in one of our posts say, but me personally do not like the heavy taste. I do like cumin, just not, it's the whole entire thing tasting like cumin. Okay, and this is um, chicken flavor with tomato. Now oregano on the other hand, I love. So I will go a little bit more heavy handed with that and you guys will experiment. Like you can even get a little bit in your hand and try it, see what you think of the flavor before you commit 100% to putting a lot or a little bit. Onion powder, we all use that usually. Onion and, and garlic powder, I usually do a lot of. Okay, so garlic powder. And um, usually I will taste my sauce, but because I first put in the uh, raw chicken, I am not going to taste it today. I would just pray to the food gods that it works. Uh, black pepper. And I have just this week bought parsley because every um, Cuban recipe uses parsley y perejil, and I never use it. And I really like it. So I used it the other day for my other sauce and I enjoyed it. 
I also used it to decorate my rice and I like it. So this is a new addition to my spices. And we are going to add some bay leaves. For flavor, then we gotta remove it. Do not eat the bay leaves, guys. So two, and like I told you before, I count them so I don't forget how many. So now all we need to add after this is done a little bit is the meat, the salt, Worcester sauce, and uh, what else? Oh, and the wine, and the wine. Okay, so let's, we're gonna wait for this to cook down a little bit. When I start smelling like heaven, then I know it's ready. Okay, so we are going to add the chicken now. Which this chicken is not cooked, just seared. So do not try it, do not taste it, do not put it in your mouth. It's not cooked chicken. So the chicken's in there. We are going to mix it in with the sauce. Get it all there, red and beautiful and yummy. Okay, now let's make sure that all of them are on the bottom. Entonces vamos a agregarle un poquito de Worcester sauce. I don't measure anything. I just put until my heart is content. And we are going to add some vino de cocinar, dry wine dry white cooking wine I got all of this is at Walmart so if you guys have a Walmart nearby they might or might not have it depending on the demographic of your area you can also buy it on Amazon okay so let's add some cooking wine first of all for the flavor second of all to add liquid to the instant pot otherwise you will get a burn um, signal I have added some white wine. I am not thinking I need any water. Remember that every Instant Pot to cook needs at least one cup of liquid. I feel like this should be fine. It's looking wonderful. Uh, all I need is salt and cook. So again, I'm not gonna try it because of the raw chicken. Let me give it another little stir for the salt. You don't have to. And look at the little bay leaf right in the middle. How cute is that? So, it is ready to put to cook. Let me see if I can move away the steam so you guys can see it. That's how it looks. Here is a closer look. Here is a closer look of the chicken right before I put it to cook. And this is me and my handy dandy fan <laughs> trying to get the steam away from the camera view. And I think it's working. What do you guys think? So we are going to cover this. Uh, both the Instapot 6 and a quart are in my product list. We are going to press seal and we are going to, first you got to cancel so you can actually put it to cook and we are going to do poultry so 20 minutes now some people add potatoes and i probably will let's see but we will add the potatoes when the chicken is done and then we would cook it for about five minutes so if you're going to add the potatoes and the chicken is 20 minutes you will only cook it for 15 minutes uh, manual release add potatoes cook for five more minutes otherwise the chicken will get super super soft mushy but it's good as well so it doesn't really matter but yeah, that's how it works. And now I will bring you guys back once it is done. And like I had said before, on the other pot I have black beans, which all I have done is soften them. They are not seasoned yet. And I do have a video cooking my black beans, so I will link it so if you guys wanna see it. We are going to pair our chicken with white rice, black beans, and some maduros, which these are the maduros that I'm going to use. Uh, first time I'm going to try them. I tried the tostones um, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of weeks. A couple of days ago. And they were absolutely amazing. Tasted fresh. Like if I had just cut a bunch of plantains. So yeah. 
this is what I am going to pair with my chicken. So the time has passed. I did manual release on my chicken. And now let's get a fork to see what it's looking like. So this is our chicken. This is the sauce. Now I'm going to turn on my chicken and saute again. And that is just to, so for some of this liquid to evaporate, for the sauce to thicken a little bit. But just as it is right now, it is perfect to eat with some white rice and put all this salsita over it. So, mira que lindo. Mira, that one turned around. Que belleza. Quedó perfecto. El pollo está super suavecito. I'm not going to say falling off the bone because it's boneless, but... Bien suavecito, ready to eat. And now I'm going to try it and see if it needs any more salt, if it needs anything else. Since I did not oh, steam, since I did not try the sauce, and I will try and let you guys know. But look how pretty. Un color bien agradable. Now we're going to remove the bay leaves. So I hope you guys learned to, oh, if you were going to add potatoes, this will be the time. Potatoes, capers, whatever you guys prefer to add. Now will be the time. The chicken is very soft, so I will recommend that you cook it for less time if you're going to be adding something and then adding more time to the pressure cooker. So it said 20 minutes. I would suggest you do like 14 or 15 minutes manual release as soon as it's done. Add whatever you're going to add and cook for five more minutes. And then that's it. Manual release again. And you are done. Let me try this. Oh my God, it's delicious. I am going to turn it on. Saute. Just put a couple of minutes so that my sauce could thicken up a little bit. But here it is. It is delicious. And I will show you guys the final plate with everything once I'm done. Okay, so I forgot just one little thing that you are going to add once you are done. And then con el calorcito that is left over, like with the heat that is left over, it would just soften up a little bit and it is slide pimientos. Oh, I forgot, forgot, forgot. I live, was literally outside and I'm like, oh my God, los pimiento. Okay, so you're just going to add a couple of pimenticos and that is going to give it the toque final. Okay. Just a couple in there, and now I'm gonna close it back up. And just like with the heat that is still left in the pot, those pimenticos are gonna cook a little bit, soften a little bit. I'm not gonna put a whole bunch because my kids or my husband don't like it. But mira que lindo, le da color, le da sabor, rico rico. So I just realized that I forgot to um, record once the chicken was done and I plated. So I'm going to do this video so that I can add some pictures of the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and until next time, bye bye.